Hey guys, what's up? So, just picked this up on eBay. Got a pretty good deal on it. But yeah, the, the, the new uh, Impact, the uh, brushless ones. So yeah, I was actually looking over at Home Depot, and out the door, these were going to be over 300 bucks for the same set. Minus one battery. But uh, like I said, I got this on eBay for 99 bucks. But uh, before I actually use these uh, on site for, for my uh, work, I wanted to... Uh, go through them and clean them up, take them apart. They're kind of, I don't know if it was a painter or if they're pretty dirty, you know? Like lots of stuff on the rubber here, so. Yeah, so I wanted to go through, unscrew them, take them apart, you know, clean the motors out, get some, I use some of my motor cleaner, and uh, just clean them up, I guess. Um, I wanted to, well, at least I was thinking about throwing these things into my, uh, like the halves, the clamshells, into my uh, ultrasonic cleaner hot water and soap but uh, yeah I love them my, my other Makitas you know these these lithium-ion batteries are, are, are uh, awesome you know it's a much better battery technology for uh, cordless tools than the old NICAD nickel metal hydrate but all right we'll see how good I can get these things out clean you know hopefully I can look make them look pretty good you know I mean I work in IT so I use these for uh, you know installing router switches wireless access points that kind of stuff. So, putting racks together, server rooms, data centers, whatever. Alright, cool. We'll get this going. So, I'm going to take them apart. See what's inside them. Alright, so I already have a set of 18 volt cordless, which I've actually had for a couple years and I love them. Um, I just want to give you a size comparison between the two. So, this is my original one. This is the new Impact. Look how much smaller that is. Yeah, it's smaller in every way. And also the brush is supposed to last longer too, you know, per charge. Um, actually, I have heard that these things should actually overheat and shut down. Uh, if you run them too long, they'll overheat and shut down. Where you, you won't get that with the, the brushless one. Oops, sorry. Alright, let's do a comparison to the... Alright, so here are the drills. Yeah, huge difference. Yeah, so I'm assuming the motors are longer because you have the whole extra set of brushes in the back here. So yeah, look at that. It's so much smaller. Alright, cool. That's going to help me if I ever have to get in between two by yeah, like uh, studs to drill a hole for like to run a wire. Uh, I don't usually do like... Most of the jobs we do are, are steel framing uh, because we do commercial work. We don't really do residential. So yeah, I rarely ever have to deal with wood framing. Only maybe like in older buildings, fire breaks and stuff, but. Alright, so yeah, I'll get these taken apart and we'll get them going. And then it also came with a charger too. Like the newer style charger. Whereas I have the older style, like the big blue one. And uh, But I'm also going to take this apart. I'm going to make sure I'm going to blow it out with my compressor and make sure it's all, all good. Um, yeah, because I think Alright, there it is. Pretty clean inside. I thought it'd be more dirty. But like I said, I'm gonna get some electrical cleaner just cleaning out, but I'm gonna get all these electronics out of here. And uh maybe I wanna be able to clean both sides of this thing up, so. One of the nice things about when you if you make videos, you're actually you can I can always go back to the video and see how it came apart. It. Now I can just totally dip this thing, you know, scrub it up and uh, take that out, take that piece off. Now I can thoroughly, thoroughly scrub this thing off, clean it up. I'm going to get some uh, electrical cleaner, motor cleaner, clean up all the uh, armature. Alright, this is my uh, Old Harbor Freight one. 
not the newer metal one. The, the, the newer one I have is smaller. It won't fit this whole thing in one shot. Put a little Don in there. Get this whole thing up in hot water. Back. Yeah, get this thing going. Yeah, the temperature control I don't think works. And the, the heater element went out on the uh, ultrasonic cleaner, so I might make another video about me fixing this thing, but I did already take it apart and verify it. All right, so that's one half clean right there. So I don't know if this stuff is just dirt, paint, grime, or what the hell it is, but yeah, huge difference. All right, so now that I have the other half clean, uh, I'm actually gonna clean up the motor section right here. Got my air compressor real fast, and I get the big stuff off. And I wanna get as much dust as I can first. Go back with some electronics, but any kind of a, like electronics cleaner would work. Like this is a mass airflow cleaner, but like you typically you want like a non residue. So the goal is to get the dirt and oil out of there without. Um, like you don't want to use like a, like a solvent like carb cleaner or brake cleaner, because on those little coil windings right here, there's actually like an insulator material, and if you use like a brake cleaner or a carb cleaner, it can actually dissolve the solvents, and then you could have a, a short. So. So I think both these halves turned out pretty good. Looking pretty good. Alright, so I gotta put this one back together. Should go from this side. That's the way I took it apart. Okay. Actually, I gotta make sure this comes in first. And This is the forward reverse switch it needs to go on there. Okay. Okay. I'm assuming all the logic is in this board right here. This is actually a board. So like the stepper motor function. So I, actually, I don't, since the, the, this brush motor probably doesn't have the logic board because it's not controlling a stepper motor. Check this thing out. Yeah, my other one didn't actually have this multi feed, multi speed. That's cool, works. Okay, yeah, put that back on. Alright, there we go. So the case is off. I figured I wouldn't show you to this, taking the screws off just because it's going to be printed the same thing. At least I use a nice Omron. Switcher, that's a good name brand there. Um, control board looks obviously a little bit different, uh, but the motor looks the same. And I'm assuming everything's the same, and the gearbox is just going to pop off like the other one. This one has a little spring mechanism. This one's a lot dirtier, and I'm assuming this will come off the front like the other one. Alright, cool. Get this stuff off. Out of the box. Alright, there are the drill halves right there. Alright, cool, looking way better. Alright, drill's done. Alright, cool, looking good. So, tomorrow I'm gonna take apart the charger, blow it out, make sure it's uh, looking good. Alright. 
All right, so we're at the last part of this video. I just want to make sure this is clean. Inside these things. All right, cool. Looks pretty good. Not bad. I mean, a little bit dusty. I'm gonna blow the blower fan out. Little thing here. Little net. Still up there. All right, there it is. So, for $99, uh, the cost of one of these drills, I got this whole kit here, you know. Spent probably about two hours cleaning them up. Came with the battery, and it was $99 free shipping. So, not bad. I think it turned out pretty good. All right, so these will be in my primary work bag, and I'm going to take these ones and put them on my, on my workbench here. Retire these things. I've had these for probably like uh, six years, maybe. Um, all right, cool, awesome. All right, love the lithium technology. All right, awesome.